What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is Jeff from BKJ Mac TV, and this is the BKJ Mac podcast experience coming to you live on this bright full day in Brooklyn. Today, um, episode 16, season three, we're going to be talking about the snitch, the piece of garbage, uh, the one I really have no respect for in pro wrestling, the almighty piece of garbage, Hulk Hogan. Now, let me tell you, I don't respect Hulk Hogan because, to me, he's a piece of garbage. When I was a kid, uh, when I heard that music, uh, A Real American, I'm not going to hold you. I was hyped. I was one of those people that was hyped to hear the Hogan music. I mean, it's Hulk Hogan. He rips his shirt, gives you the big boots, gives you the leg drop, pinfall, one, two, three, but behind that there was a man that was despicable and don't get me started on his ex-wife who I really don't like either um basically this guy you know he got banned from the hall of fame because he made racist comments in um in a in a sex tape that was basically I don't know illegally recorded and he was able to sue and he won and i'm like okay because he didn't want certain other stuff to come out of that tape we will never know what was supposed to come out of the tape but he used stuff like the n-word and whatnot to really you know to express i guess his displeasure with black people in america but again he's people say that he's not a racist i don't frankly um, Hulk Hogan to me, I, I, I don't know him personally, and I don't really care to know him personally. Um, every time I watch him on TV, he just makes me sick to my stomach. Um, because what really, what made me, what made me really sick to my stomach about Hulk Hogan was how greedy he was, how he really only cared about himself. And, and the few people he allowed in his inner circle, let's be honest, uh, I was watching an interview with Joss, with um, with Grissom, with I'm sorry, with Graham, um, with with uh, Jesse the Body Ventura, and Jody, they and the Graham asked him the question, "Could you ever be friends with Hulk Hogan again?" And he said, "No way, absolutely not." And he said, "Why? Because he doesn't trust him." Then he said, "The reason he don't trust them was because in the early '90s, uh, Jesse the Body Ventura." Uh, this um he was the former governor of minnesota pro wrestler a movie star basically he wanted to organize a union at in the in the old wwf before it became wwe in 2002 he was basically getting people to sign up um he was talking about it he even he even made the ill-fated decision and talked to the the snitch uh the snitch bitch hulk hogan about it and Hulk Hogan said, yeah, I got you back. Don't worry, I got you, brother. And then he goes around and stooges on him and tells Vince McMahon that, oh, um, Jesse the Body Ventura is organizing a union. And I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? It was ridiculous. I never heard, like... And then the only way Jesse the Body Ventura... Um, found out about it because he was confronted by it and he was almost fired over it but then you know NBC stepped in and he was like no you're not touching this guy and he wasn't touched and he took Vince um Jesse the Body Ventura took Vince McMahon to federal court and basically um stated hey you know Vince McMahon has to pay me for my rights for my images and for my likeness Every time Jesse the Body Ventura gets a check from WWE, um, every any time for any time, they they showcase the, the image of Jesse the Body Ventura, and it's I'm glad I'm glad because it's like Vince McMahon did not want to pay his talents. He did not want to pay, and he's the only wrestler that gets that 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 type of royalty. And um, during the trial in, in the deposition, Vince McMahon was on the witness stand, and then they asked. Any question, you can ask any question. And, and Jesse the Body Ventura asked his lawyer to ask them this question. Well, was there any union uh, in WWE? He said no. Was there somebody trying to organize a, a union in WWE? He said, yeah, Jesse the Body Ventura right there was trying to organize one. And he was like, do you know who told you 
how did you find out about it? He says, oh, Hulk Hogan told me. And he said, Hulk Hogan told him. Jesse the Body Ventura was in shock, but he almost fell off his chair. He was like, wow, this guy was one of the boys and he only cared about himself. He didn't care about the others. He didn't care about the brotherhood. He didn't care about the women in the locker room. He only cared about himself and the millions of dollars that he was getting in his pockets to line his pocket to support his own family. He didn't care. He just didn't care. And that to me is disgusting. Okay, you don't have to care. You don't have to take part in it, but then you don't have to snitch either. And the one thing I can't stand in this world is a snitch. And Hulk Hogan to me is a snitch bitch because of what he did. He snitched on the movement. He snitched it so good so that way he wanted to line his pockets up and that's disgusting everybody hates a snitch even the mob hates a snitch the government hates a snitch and that dude to me Hulk Hogan is a snitch and I don't respect him at all and then all the comments that he said in that in that tape in that sex tape only confirms to me I just don't like Hulk Hogan mind you these are my personal opinions that's how I feel about the man I, I honestly I don't like him and you know WWE it had WWE had a union I'm probably saying Owen Hart doesn't doesn't um doesn't die you know Bret Hart doesn't get shafted the way he got shafted in Montreal um many wrestlers don't die from addiction or 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 medical issues um there's look there's um there's a wellness to well care there's things that uh, chair shots to the head doesn't happen you know, WWE becomes a whole different brand, a different product, you know, because the wrestlers have power. Now, let me tell you, excuse me, let me tell you, the NBA has a union, NHL has a union, hospital workers have a union, NYPD has a union. So many organizations have unions, but WWE doesn't have a union. But Vince McMahon says, oh, I pay you well. But Vince McMahon does, is the same person that doesn't want you to wrestle in another com- in another promotion, even though you're considered an independent contractor, which doesn't to me doesn't make any sense at all. And the union would have benefited a lot of wrestlers overall. Better, the wrestlers would have had a lot of benefits. They would have had a lot of better. They have better salaries. They would have had um, job security. They, it, it just would have had so much better things. And that's what Jesse the Body Ventura was fighting for. He was fighting for the betterment of the wrestlers in WWE. As the wrestlers put their bodies on the line. At one point, they were going on the road for over 300 days a year. Had they been in union, that would have never happened. But that's what happened. That's what Hulk Hogan did. Hulk Hogan took care of himself. You know, I'll tell you this, WrestleMania 3, he mentioned something about WrestleMania 3, Jesse the Body Ventura. He said that Hulk Hogan took home a large amount of the money that all the wrestlers combined, even more than Andre the Giant combined, he was able to get that as one person. It makes no sense. How do you how do you do that? How do you how are you so greedy? And he did the same thing in WCW. He had creative control over his image and his likeness. He basically did whatever he felt benefited himself. And that's why Jeff Jarrett said, I laid down and he took the one, two, three and just walked out the ring because he didn't care. How do you respect a man like that? You know, people could say, be bygones, be bygones, whatever the case is. But Hulk Hogan, he's just a guy that's just immersely selfish. He's ext- And he's a snitch, a selfish snitch that only cared about himself. And that to me is disgusting and I don't even respect him whatsoever. And don't even get me started on the N-word that he was using on that sex tape. That's a whole nother can of worms right there. Overall, eh, Hulk Hogan, you suck. Hulkamania, that suck. The real wrestlers was Randy the Macho Man Savage who cared about the people. Jesse the Body Ventura that cared about the people and everybody else that cared about the people. You, on the other hand, only cared about yourself, so enjoy yourself. Anyway, thank you for listening to this podcast episode from BKJ Mag today, uh, BKJ Mag TV. Thank you, peace, love, always, one.